Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Uh, this video is going to be for Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. This is part two of the weekly reads. Um, given the fact that we've got the full moon going on, we've got an eclipse coming up as well, and we've got pre-shadow and getting ready to move into Mercury retrograde, um, the readings were taking a little longer and then I really had given thought to, to be honest. And now I'm like, you know what? We're going to split these up. So then that way um, they're, they're going to get uploaded faster. I can get back to your monthlies as well. So this is just the way that it's, the cookie is crumbling right now, guys. So uh, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini's video is uploading as we speak. Um, working on this one, then we'll have Libra through Sag and then Capricorn through Pisces and two other videos. So a um, little confusing, hopefully, hopefully not, um, but this way I think it's just going to be easier to get all the information that is needed for these reads out this week. So this was going to be for March 18th through the 24th. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. Always discern the messages accordingly. Pay attention. Um, I would say to you, check out the first four minutes of the of the uh, Aries Taurus Gemini video part one. Um, I had a lot to say in that about the energies that are going on. I don't want to repeat it continuously. Um, check out your other placements as those videos become available as well. For those of you who have um, like, shared, commented, subscribed, and those of you who have booked personal readings, thank you so very much for all of your love and support um, and for reaching out. And also, I will say quickly, emails that I did not get a chance to respond to and finally have gotten back to those. So if you were one of the ones that got delayed in response, I do apologize. Um, one of me and a whole lot going on. So, all right, Cancer, with that, we're going to jump right on into your video here or your portion and see what is happening for you guys this week. Again, a lot of energy. I, you just this first three, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. Holy shit. Um, I don't know if there's any other way to describe it. Lots and lots of energy floating around. And I think we're in a very transitional phase. We're in a very pivotal phase uh, for all of us. Some will be affected more than others. Creation coming out sideways there, Cancer. Um, distraction, there you are. That's your card in this deck. Four. <sighs> Cancer, you could feel like this week. Um, I feel like those of you who are intuitive, very intuitive, you're feeling a change coming to your foundational energy. You are feeling like maybe the things that you are in the process of creating have kind of been put on hold. Um, I, I feel like if you guys are intuitive, if you're really deep down in those emotions and that feeling, um, you could feel something's coming. It's kind of like wrapping yourself up, trying to cloak yourself, trying to protect yourself, put yourself in this bubble of protection um, because you feel, you feel something coming. Um, <clears throat> You've got compassion and, and retribution, Scorpio energy there, patience, fragility. Um, whatever, I'm going to say this to you, Cancer. Whatever you are feeling, do not discount any feeling that's coming in. Because this idea of like, um, it's like mental explosion. Make sure you're keeping your emotions in check this week as well, because I do feel like you could almost be in a, in a space of being the spectator to an event, a situation, a blow up. Um, make sure that you're, if you're online too, you're not taking in negative news or negative information. Watch, be very cognizant of the mind space right now. Because I feel like there's an overwhelming attachment to all of the things that are going on in the mind for you guys right now. Um, not sure what direction to go, where to start from. Spirit is saying it is okay to take a pause, relax, refresh, breathe. Um, because I don't, I'm going to say the next two weeks specifically for you. This energy is probably going to linger. And not until that point has come 
Are you going to be able to see the entire big picture? I, you feel it, but you can't see it. So you could feel like you need to put your decision-making processes on hold. You may feel like you're being over inundated with information. Um, Spirit is saying training. So this could be training for life, work, spiritually. Um, <clears throat> but there's something happening here around that where there's a whole lot going on outside of you. And I feel like too, if you're an empath, um, you need to safeguard your energy because you're gonna absorb a whole lot of everybody else's craziness. Uh, even if it's not your own, but it's like, I, I think it, it's coming from this feeling of you having that inner knowing. You feel something, like it, it's your gut, it's your mind. It's like your gut triggers something and you feel that. And as the human brain takes over, it's going, oh my God, like what is happening? So you're going to want to be very mindful of um, anything like that. You may also feel like a specific plan or something that you had made is, is blowing up at this time as well. Um, it's like nothing, I keep hearing like nothing can get on track. It, it, it's that kind of feeling. Wishing coming out sideways and playful. Um, behind playful is meditation. I said you're going to have to ground your energy. Try to keep yourself very much in, in a lighthearted space and approach of a lot of things. The more serious you take things right now, um, the harder it's going to be to be able to see on the other side of that for yourself. It's like, take it all, Spirit is saying, take it all with a grain of salt right now. Everything that's happening, anything that is said, anything that's being done, um, take it with a grain of salt. Lay low. Um, it's not for you to have to fight with, antagonize over, um, or agonize over, I should say. Desti Listen, every every card that I pulled for you, Cancer, has come out sideways. Uh, I, I want to say to you, I do feel like this is um, a crossroads energy of, did you learn how to handle these things when they come in and you have no control? Um, another card of the mind. You've got three cards of the mind here. Um... Be mindful of mental temptation, Spirit is saying as well. Uh, so whatever that means to you, pay attention to your dreams. Some of you may need to be sitting outside at night, um, taking in just fresh air or the, the moonlight. Um, there's a lot of things that like just needing to feel something like it's clearing your, your space, your energy, your mind, your heart, your just your chakras you may need to do some chakra work this week as well to keep yourself balanced um it's okay to say no right now to cancer if, if you feel like you can't take any more some of you could be having headaches migraines sinus issues too um but it's like everything all three cards came out sideways everything is up in the air and look at this. It's like, how much more of this shit can I take? How much more of this can I take in until I'm ready to implode? Spirit is asking you to not, um, not react to situations. You need to take that moment and just pause and reflect over things before. And like I said, it's going to be about a two-week period that until this cycle, this, this shift that's happening right now closes out for you. It's going to be a little bit. So you're going to have to be extremely patient um make sure spirit is saying check your mercury placement your mars placement your sun and your rising those are going to be the key key things here for you guys for whatever reason um but that's what they're giving me but your astrology right now is going to be something that you're really going to want to pay attention to check spirit is saying to check and see if you have pisces and leo in your chart i'm not real sure why um that's coming in Aries as well if you have Aries placements but there's there's a lot like I kind of feel like with the astrology and the way that things are lining up with all of the shifts right now um it's you may feel like everything is playing a key role in what's going on around you because it's like you're you could be dealing with so many different signs right I mean we all do but um, the prominent ones around you could be like a pretty heavy mixed bag of this person, that person, that sign, this sign. Um, and it's like you're watching all these different dynamics. So it's kind of like you've got a front row seat to 
everything that's happening and your gut's feeling that and taking that in your your intuition is is aware of it um and it's like how are you transmuting that energy that you're picking up on as as the coming weeks uh go by so be be very mindful as i said you know um <clears throat> how did i say how you've mastered or something to that effect or control the control aspect the hangman the strength card there are some things outside of your dynamic here that you're realizing you cannot control. Um, I'm trying to find a way to put this. What is this about, spirit? You could also feel like spirit is saying that you are, are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place right now too. Uh, cancer with this energy it's like both sides of a situation could be fruitful you'd be dealing with people that are competing for each other some some of you could also uh in regards to your work have a competing company or something that is vying for your attention and that's kind of puts you in a moment of pause and reflection as to what direction you want to go moving forward um spirit is using the word tethering so i don't know what that means for any of you but it's like, you know, you're in a situation that, you know, your your hands are literally tied behind your back. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it doesn't matter what you do, how you do it. Um, the, the end result of a particular situation is destined to create, spirit is calling it upheaval. And you don't have control of what is happening. Again, there's this, this, this control element that it is beyond your control. Um, only thing you can do here, Cancer, this week, and I, I'm going to say again, two weeks out, is master the self. The Nine of Swords coming out sideways. It's like they're, they're in Ten of Swords. Um, it's the Five of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. Um, you could feel like everybody's taking shots at you this week again. Like, it, it's just like they are not, they're not happy with a particular situation. There's nothing you can do to change a particular situation here. It is what it is. Uh, you can't nurture this back to some kind of healthy place or dynamic for someone else. I feel like, again, you're taking on a lot of everybody else's stuff. Uh, and it's creating, you know, there's moments that it's like I've got this centered space within myself that I'm like, I'm in control, right? I'm in control of myself and my, my emotions and I, I'm keeping myself in check. And then there are these other moments where it's like, it, I'm worried about this again. Like it's keeping me up at night. I'm stressed out. My, my dreams, you know, it's like, this is like potentially could be the worst case scenario of a situation as well. So, you know, again, needing to be mindful of that energy and how it's coming in for you. So, you know, it's whew, cancer. Good golly. What is this hanging in? Ace of wands. It is a new beginning, passionate beginning in regards to something here. However, However, when I see that King of Wands with the Devil card, this is, um, how do I want to put this? Again, it's, it's like two offers, you know, the lesser, you know, look at the presidency, right? It's like always picking the lesser of two evils, um, or the lesser, lesser evil of the two, however they say that. It's kind of how this feels to me. With something there is, it's the same old devil the same old song and dance you've been there done that before but there is something else here that's presenting itself and i'm going to tell you though talking about those two situations and that ace of wands and that king of wands are presenting them both themselves in in those two separate energies of that hangman that i talked about with the two sides of the situation um where you could be you know in a in a place of work or people who the hell knows what it is right you guys know where it fits in your world where you're having to make some kind of choice and i feel like you're being really pressurized to have to make that choice uh this devil and the fool it's did you learn the lessons from before did you learn about that toxicity there's certain patterns and traits as well um of how something starts and how it ends i mean you think about the the wands you start with the ace you end with the king do you want to repeat this there's something about a repetition here that um and I think that's part of why these cards have come out sideways. 
you have to be certain. There's just something here that's just playing out in the mind and it's just spinning and spinning and going and going. It's like on repeat, right? Uh, it's, it's broken record kind of energy here. You know, that infinity symbol with the strength card is, is that of peace uh, and begins, right? The Empress coming out in the reverse. King of Cups, Scorpio, Libra energy here with the Justice card, the Six of Cups. You could be dealing with another feminine energy that is not in a higher vibrational stance at this time as well. Um, you know, this is someone who, who lacks judgment, who lacks character, who lacks care, compassion. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. It doesn't have to be. You also have Leo here, Sagittarius, um, Pisces energy as well. I'm going to see here. You got a lot of major. Everybody's getting a lot of majors. Um, what is this Empress in Reverse Spirit? Six of Swords. You, it's almost like somebody's trying to gaslight a situation to here. Six of Cups, Scorpio Energy, the Death card as well. Um, King of Swords. Paraphont. Holy shit. These, these readings are like kaboom. All, every single one of them have been crazy. Um, this is someone who you're dealing with too, Cancer. I think that it's victim mode. You're feeling, it's, as much as it is the Six of Swords, it's giving me the Nine of Wands vibes. It's like this beat up, fed up, over it. You've got someone who's playing the victim and ultimately their actions or their lack of give a fucks is, is causing this, um, this upheaval. And I feel like for you, this is just like, you know, I'm sick of apologies. I'm sick of I'm sorry. I'm sick of anything that tries to keep me tied into something that is not for my higher good that it's like it sends off a trigger for you with this strength card it's it's again mastering trying to master those emotions page of wands and the star um i, I think i just got done saying this to, to gemini a little bit it's like selling you a dream this the star and the page of wands you're seeking new opportunity and growth we all know if you've been with me for a while i'm not a fan of the page of wands as I say that, there's the Seven of Cups. It causes freaking confusion. He can be, you know, he, she, them, they can be manipulative. Um, they're looking at a one-sided opportunity of a particular situation. I feel like you're trying to pick a single direction to go. You, you're, you're trying to find a balance in a situation. Whether and I, For some of you, you could be dealing with a single person that you are watching this happen, this back and forth, this, you know, and it's causing you this confusion because you feel it. Okay, it, it's like you can't help but feel it and then, then acknowledge it. What is this Nine of Swords about? The Seven of Swords, sideways, the moon in the reverse. Um, I said two weeks out, right? You're going to have a clearer picture of a situation. Knight of Pentacles. Cancer, I'm going to say to you, right now someone could appear to you like they are tr trying to come into your good good graces. It's like the Seven of Wands it, it is you trying to hold your ground, right? Creating boundaries, laying down the law. Trying to keep people, things, places out of your situations. And this Knight of Pentacles, whoever this is, is knocking down every door that they can. It's like, it's almost like they, um, oh God, um, what was it? The, years ago, like the TV providers would come around to your neighborhood and knock on your door and go, hey, you want to sign up? Hey, you know, no, maybe, you know, Joe next door is interested. Go knock on their door. Hey, Joe, you want to buy this TV subscription? Blah, 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 whatever it is. Um, this person will knock down every door. And you know this. It's like you could anticipate this person coming around. Um, it's whoever is going to take them in at that moment. A little bit of a user here with this, this Knight of Pentacles. There's a reason you're safeguarding yourself from this slow-moving knight. Um... I don't feel like their spirit is saying that they're fulfilled with, with promise, whatever that promise is. Um, Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords sideways also, and then the Moon in the reverse. Um, once this passes, I'm seeing this night is passing by. Um, they could come in just enough to cause some upheaval, stress, 
distractions, worries. Um, around the time of the full moon, you're going to start to get clarity of this. Uh, so what's that? That's, that's next uh, a week from today, I think, maybe, if I'm remembering my dates right. Uh, and then we've got the eclipse happening, everything else. So is these... I'm just watching like the moon move. As this movement with the astrology is taking place, Cancer, you're going to start to see what is not, what is not, Spirit is calling it adequate. Okay, very, very interesting message and your video is super, super long here. <coughs> so let's get some advice for you guys. Some crazy energy, Cancer, coming out in your read. Advice for Cancer. Shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, and epiphanies, transformation. That's the equivalent of the Tower card. There's not been a single reading that I've done for this week that has not had the shock, the Tower, or something in it. Pictures, looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Um, again, it's like same old devil. Like That's how this feels. Like You're going to have to remember how you've gotten to this particular point. Um whoever this king of wands character is um they, it's almost like they try to sell you um a dream like they're they want you to get up and go right now they're, they don't want they want you to oversee the potential possibilities of all sides of the situation too um but they could also be a deliverer of some kind of news that is um trying to de derail your soul path your, 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 your life's purpose, your journey. Um, ship, cutting ties, moving on, receiving what you need, progression and arriving. Cancer, you're going to arrive to a conclusion about this particular person and or situation um, and go, you know what, it, it's just not meant for me. Like, this is where I am. This is what I need to know. This is what I was meant to learn. There's, there's nothing more that I can do about this. And, you know, in the meantime, though, I kind of feel like the wheels are spinning. Your mind is racing. It's just a very stressful situation. Trust. Trust your intuition right now. Trust it. If you are spiritual and you are, in, in, you know, deep into that, um, if you're, as long as you're trusting that, you're going to be fine. Pay attention. All right. Leo. That was super, super long. All right. Leo, what is going on for you? Oh my gosh, March 18th through the 24th. I didn't even probably get this card shuffled. Signal, crux. Um, here we go, Leo. Birds, I heard birds of a feather flock together. Love. Oh, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Um, there's, there's a form of escapism here happening Leo uh 32 29 34 no I'm not wrapping out some cermix a lot there with the with our sizes just saying uh 5 11 and 7 um th this is such a strange another strange energy um bear with me for one second Leo, I feel like in the past, you know, birds of a feather flock together, right? You you could have been mirroring somebody. They could have been mirroring you. Something was on guard. Like, both people could have had guards up hardcore around a particular situation. Um, but there was also spiritual evolvement that was also happening. There was something about this. The situation now being... Now you've both kind of come out of the head element, learned how to protect yourself in a more appropriate fashion. Now we're in this emotional energy. Nobody's fucking moving. I mean, just this is like not trusting, not opening up, just letting things wash ashore and sitting there watching it go by. It's like everybody is just stand still nobody is seeing the beauty of the journey that has brought them to this particular moment this protection of a divine connection sits within this 
there is something about love, comfort, familiarity, heart space, openness, a time to heal, spirit is saying. And then they just said, can I please have you back? Some of you are diving into um, the dream world, whether you know it or not, or whether you really want to address it from that space, um, where you are going back in time to people from the past as well. Um, Spirit is saying it is not about the person. It's about the feeling. When you dream, Leo, you know, you want to journal it, write it down, um, now draw a map if you want to. But you want to make sure that you're remembering those things and journaling those things so that you see the flow, the connection of what the symbolism means to you. But it's not just about what things look like, what you saw, because our human mind wants to go in there and, and dissect it and go, oh, I seen this red car, I must be getting a red car. Oh, I seen this building, I must be going to the dentist's office next week. It's about the feeling that is evoked within you. And to me, it's kind of like they're taking you back in time in some way through your dreams or your daydreams or whatever this subconscious part is, right? And it's like, do you feel this? Do you, do you understand the feeling behind what is coming up from the past? Um, the past returning and it may not be the person itself this could you know metaphorically this could not be um the person in in 3d sight right this is the feeling with this water this is the feeling that it brings you to a crossroads this crux that says now what do you do do you stay on high alert or do you let your guard down because there's a limitless potential, but somewhere in the middle of this, Leo, you have to sacrifice something. Is it your comfort or is it the new? That's what they're bringing in because there's going to be a consequence to both sides of this. There's always a consequence, you know, for every action that we take. I mean, if you eat green peppers for dinner and they give you indigestion, your consequence is you're going to end up with indigestion. But boy, they tasted good while it happened, right? It's shit like that. It's, it's very simple. Don't overcomplicate it, they're saying. But regardless, something has got to end in order for this new thing to begin. And to me, this is truly letting go of what was comfortable so that you can obtain the new, the limitless potential that comes with spirit just said partnership. Stop looking at it, all the things that could go wrong and start seeing it from the point and the view that what happens if it all goes right? But you've got to open up. You've got to want to connect. Because you've got your... It's funny. It's like there's somebody or something in your perception here, Leo. Person, job, whatever. They're in your perception. They're in their... They are in your peripheral. And it's like... I don't know if I can pay it any attention. Because that requires me to do something. I've seen this for you guys so many times. And you're... Here it is again. It's coming back through, Leo. There, there's no getting around this. You are going to repeat and repeat and repeat these type of cycles. Um, that alarm is going to go off. That signal is going to happen until you move differently. Period. You cannot, I mean, you can stay in whatever cycle you choose to, right? That's your own option. But the thing of it is, is you are always going to have that new experience with the same type of situation. It's just you're learning the lesson in a different way. It's like teaching math problems. You know, mom and dad teach you to do it this way, but you go to school, they teach you to do it that way. Either way, you end up with the same result. I hope that's making sense. And that's the cycle that you're in. You have to do it new. You have to learn something new. You need to elevate. All right. Grove, self-care, invisible. I, again, that invisible, I've seen that come out for you guys before too. Success, or you're, you're, you're afraid to evolve, you're afraid to succeed. This is kind of like this loner energy, if I could, I'll just do it by myself. I just, I don't need to be seen, I don't need to be addressed, I, I just, I do it on my own. 
by all means, Leo, absolutely. Do things for yourself. Do things on your own. But something here is stopping you from being able to run this time. You don't get to be the runner this time. You don't get to check out. You're, you're being forced to face something here. And you've got this Queen of Wands, Two of Cups. I've seen a lot of partnership stuff coming up from you. Three of Swords, the Hermit, what you've learned in the past. Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups. This is something that... It, I'm going to say it again, Lord help us all, coming back around. Whether this is the emotion of it, or this is a person, um, it's coming back around in a couple of different ways. It, it, but the key point here is the emotion. You can't make this shit up. Naked people. The lover's card. Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, the Lovers. The Star, the Knight of Cups, the Chariot. Underneath, underlying that, is the Two of Swords. Leo, somebody could have made you some kind of offer. Or you could be, be the one making some kind of offer here. But it all comes down to a choice of forward movement of where you want to go. What do you want to do with it? you got Cups out the wazoo in these few. The star, she's got cups. She's got her little pitchers, right? She's pouring in between the two. She's alchemizing. Somebody here around you has alchemized their part. They've learned to find balance and healing in a situation. Um, Leo, you have two. You absolutely have two. And it's kind of like you've got two people at a standstill here that goes, do we bring this together? Do we try? Oh my, all of these choices, you cannot make it up. Two of Cups, two. The Lovers, a choice. The Judgment, a choice. The Two of Swords, a choice. Stalemate, I said it with the crux up here, right? Same thing. It, it, Spirit just said it took a lot of bravery for someone to step forward and say something to you. And it's kind of like, you may feel... It comes stable, but here comes this thing rushing into me, this situation rushing in. Um, you don't get to sit on the bench anymore. Like, if the coach benched you for, you know, half the season because he wanted to see improvement, he wanted you working out harder, you know, whatever, and now it's like, you're up. It's your turn. You're up here. Are you going to sacrifice, sacrifice this opportunity and give it away, or are you going to dive into it? Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands. Somebody here has fought a long, hard battle to get to where they are. That nine is close to that end, right? It is the new beginning, one turn away. Four, 11, 11, marriage, celebration, family success. Somebody here has got a hell of a lot of something to celebrate, Leo. And I just heard, why won't you, why won't you join? Why won't you join? Two of Cups, Four of Swords. There has been this cycle of healing has completed itself. There has been so much healing around a particular situation. You know, it always stands out to me anymore with the Two of Cups is it's heart healing. It's emotional healing. It's letting go of complexities of situations. The healing that needed to be required, that was required to bring this together has happened. That part, that stage is done. It's time to move on and move forward with this. What is this lover's card about for Leo? The magician in the reverse. It's like hard to believe. I, I heard, what if they take me off track? What if they don't, Leo? You're always so skeptical. You know, the lovers with the magician in the reverse, to me, it's like... To me, I'm, I just keep hearing, like, is, is this going to turn my world upside down? Is it going to take away what I've worked on and worked for? That's part of this choice. It's like, do I let go of what I know to be mine? What I, what I become comfortable and content with? And it's kind of like, I don't think that this person is coming in with devilish energies. I, I think that they're coming in and it, it's a temptation as they make this offer to you. But here's the thing. It's honest. It's an honest offer. You're seeing is a temptation. 
it's not the negative. That, that's the crazy thing. You're seeing the negative rather than the, the upside to this. What is the star? Oh my god, way too many cards. Way too many cards. I feel like somebody here, Leah, whether this is you or that person, or even both of you, um, they're ready to settle down, letting go of all other attachments. Six of Pentacles, willing to give and give back. Really realizing where, you know, they got let down, they got breadcrumb, they got forgotten about in the past. Um, and even, and again, reflective energy between the two of you. Knight of Cups and the Empress. You're holding back what because you think this is all you have and you're seeing this person as an empress. You will level up together. Um, the chariot, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, and then there's the five of cups. Ten of cups in the reverse. Um, oh, Leo. I, I just hear from you, I'm just going to do it on my own. This may very much disappoint somebody because um, they're seeing you. They're seeing you as happiness. They're seeing you as joy. Girl with a snake charmed or used enabled boundaries. Um, I feel like this person dropped some boundaries for you. Um, I told you someone was ready to settle down. Higher commitment. Partnership twin flames. Polar opposites. Union and duality. What else for Leo advice? Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, growth, change mind, rise from the ashes. Um, Leo, the moon, I'm like, you know, are you going to open up to this? Um, Leo, I don't you've got free will i don't see you being open to this connection for whatever reason this is um i'm going to be honest with you though i mean you've got the right to change your mind and, and do it differently but you shutting yourself back down it's self-sabotaging behavior you're stopping your own personal growth and movement i wouldn't do that if i were you don't let outside temptation that is legit temptation derail you from something that's going to not only has it already done some healing for you, um, but it's going to provide a level up for you and for this person. And I feel like you're turning a blind eye to it. I mean, you've got beautiful freaking cards here. People would kill to have those cards. And you're just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. All right. All right, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What do we got going on today? Well, this week, Virgo, what is going on this week for you guys? Uh, I'm going to shuffle these up a little more. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. March 18th through the 24th. I hope you guys are doing well. Virgo and Scorpio. Interesting. I feel like Scorpio's energy is making its way through the zodiac. I'm like Leo to Virgo here lately. Um, check your placements, movements. A lot of astrology happening right now. Retribution on ecstasy motivation. Um, Virgo. Temper check. One eleven. Threes are very important. There is an ending at sight. When I say temper check, um, please be moving within grace because this gives me, let me tell you vibes. Um, and this gives me Fuck it vibes. This gives me... <laughs> oh, Virgo. It, it's just like, I just don't care. And part of this is like... 
you may get to a point in the next seven days that you blow up and then pretend that nothing else exists. Like a complete, legit disconnect um, from all of it. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or Aquarius. It does not have to be. Um, Oath summons pointing the finger, playing the blame game. Um, you could have felt pinned against a wall when it comes to something. You could have felt boxed into something. You could have felt like things weren't getting done, that things weren't moving fast enough. Um, and now it's like, let me tell you. Fuck you. It's all about me. Kaboom, Virgo. Kaboom. Um, that oath and that Scorpius retribution card what goes around comes around. This is karmic. This is karma playing out. This is ah uh, front row seats. This is I've hit a breaking point. I am done, fed up. I am over it. 13. That's death card energy right there. Ah, two 13s. Four and four. I. It's almost like you You are right. It's, you, know, so you think about Scorpio. A Scorpio will create a tower just to be like, well, let's just get this over with. Virgo, you're creating a tower and going, let's just get this over with. Let's say what needs to be said, and but I, I do feel like you're going to have to control your temper because it's like, um, once those give a fucks have gotten up and left, um, you just don't care. And it's, again, kaboom, and I'm take care of me, and I'm independent, and I'm going to do, like, you're going to, you know, I would tell Scorpio, put your stinger away, like, settle it down simmer it down a little bit um you need to simmer down a little bit because it's going to create a very hard and abrupt ending that i think will make you feel better as like you could really be dealing with a scorpio i just seen scorpio again um twice uh that talking about that abrupt there it is that impulsive knight of wands energy that impulse control here virgo with whatever this is king of wands you're going from a maturity into a 13 year old kind of tactic of well you know i've got testosterone pumping through my body so i'm gonna go tell mom how it's gonna be today um don't do or say something that you're going to regret is really what i want to say to you like go put yourself in a timeout. go put yourself in check before you address whatever this is because i feel like there you need to hit the brakes before shit blows up because you're missing a key piece of information here in regards to your emotions and i feel like in the moment um this build up of you've got to like do a pressure release it's like that volcano right once that pressure builds up it implodes um that's how this feels to me but i don't think virgo that it has to do with other people as much as it has to do with you. Spirit just said your lack of satisfaction to what you asked for, what you've wanted. This is like, you could even call it like throwing an adult temper tantrum kind of thing. Like, you know, it's, I'm tired of feeling left drought. I'm tired of feeling neglected. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of not getting the help around here that I need or not. Look at that. Third time over. 13, 13, 13. Um, because whatever this this shakeup is, this betrayal, this hard ending to a situation because you didn't master yourself, there are no there's no take backsies. This is done. This will be the absolute end to a situation that you can't return from. When it's done, it's done. Um you got Scorpio four times all over this reading. You, you could have significant Scorpio placements. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, my goodness gracious. But you are embracing that energy that like, with, with Scorpio, when they're done, they're done. Um, let's just say, I'm going to use this example. Do with it what you will. Your husband pissed you off yesterday and he comes home today with flowers and he's like, 
I love you, I'm sorry, and you, and you know, whatever he did was just the epitome of all things. And it's like taking those flowers, dropping them on the floor, and stepping on them and walking on by. That's how I feel about this death card and the six of pentacles that came out that way. Take your gifts and stick them up your ass like I don't need them. Like you are pissed. You've got to get your emotions in check. Uh, the, oh my God, it's like a stand, it standoff. It's like so abrupt and so like I want, spirit just said I want control. The Emperor, the Queen of Swords, the world, the Empress. Um, I love all of those cards. However, I feel like this Emperor is taking control of a situation. I feel like that is you, Virgo. Um, like you're stepping into your own power, your own right, which is fine, but you're gonna be wanna be really careful how you do this. Don't bite off more than you can chew because when whenever this end is here, it's done for good. Advice for Virgo. I mean, yours is about as simple as it gets compared to all these other readings, honest to goodness. I just keep hearing like you've taken all you can take karmic relationship resentments and triggers and that's soulmate karmic and soulmate yes love self-love and wholeness affection attraction selflessness unconditional love you may have given everything that you had to a situation to the point now that you've just completely emotionally disconnected from it sunglasses watching looking perception stalking um you know as i said somebody could be coming in with some kind of gift or something and you're just like oh look at that pretty glass crack here let me throw a plate at your head like it's it's like the love is gone from a situation whatever compassion patience you might have had it's it's done and it's very much a very the empress i'm seeing her is just the singular energy of i will do it on my own and you can, but remember, whatever you reap, you sow. And if this is the karma of a situation for somebody else, don't let their negative energy or whatever they've done to hurt you and you've sat with that and now you're dealing with healing those emotions be the thing that you carry on into the next cycle and then you become in that ingrained in that karma right we can take on other people's karma don't take that on because of your own hurt and pain or your disappointment more than anything your emotional like disconnect don't not carry love with you forward okay Phew. all right virgo i'm leaving it there again if these videos resonated for you i hope they certainly help like share subscribe comment um, booking personal readings that information is found in the description box below um, that information is also in the about section you can reach out to me and we'll get you scheduled guys I'm sending you much love and light throughout this craziness of this astrology that's happening um, and I will see you soon and again take care of yourselves bye